Not a new title screen. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough day 12 recording. Let's see what the poop we've got over there. It looks like there's a big separation between the little flaggers at the bottom portion of the save file. Hmm. 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 Well, maybe we'll figure that out later. <laughs> That's part of the blindness after all. Oh yeah, we're still in golf. So, um, at Tidy Park, you remember I said I never found the rainbow hole? I'm wondering if I can explore this place more now that I'm, I guess you could say a member. I what? Member-ish? Oh, what the? You played well in the tournament, but Dusty still has a bone to pick with you. <laughs> I watched you play. I learned what it takes to beat you. Are you interested in taking on Codsworth and I? You can team up with me. I, well, you can team with me. Well, um, hmm, eh, um, yeah, I sorta. Sure, yep, yeah, definitely, definitely. I was gonna explore this place. But I didn't know this was coming. <laughs> I'll get the cart ready. Come meet us by the first tee. Okay, so you guys are gonna go go ahead and poop over. Yeah, you're gonna instantly poop over there. So I can still actually go ahead and explore around here. So about that rainbow hole. I have a theory that it's probably like around somewhere on the very edges of the world that I haven't seen, like maybe in those trees way off to the left or something. Can I now walk out on the... No, I can't. Maybe there's just no rainbow hole here. I mean, that could be possible. It just doesn't feel like a thing that they would do. It seems like they hide a rainbow hole in every area. <laughs> like, hold on a sec, hold on. What if I plop the ball here and hit a ball in this... I was gonna say in the corner area. Hmm. Eh. Uh, 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 uh. No, just gonna leave my ball behind because I'm just that disappointed that I can't find the rainbow hole if one exists. Yeah, maybe one doesn't exist. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's plop one over here and do another exploration job around the corners that I might not otherwise be able to see with the camera. Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think I'm missing anything. Nor are there any more people with dot dot dots above their head. Well, I mean, yes, there are the, uh, uh, I don't know if this is going to be a side quest or a main quest or anything like that, but they have these guys here, which obviously will have dot dot dots, but I mean, like, the rest of the people around these parts. Nope, unless there's a secret rainbow hole over here, but I doubt that because I can walk right over it. No other hole you can walk directly over. See? Ooh, ee, ooh, ee. See? <laughs> Alright, I'm taking that flag with me. Uh, ready for a cod swallowing? I'm a wizard on this course. I best you are. Some say our course is more difficult than Blue Moon Dunes. Uh, I thought Blue Moon Dunes is that Probably that pro course place. It's my best guess. Anyway, ready to head out? Yes. Had to check the B. <sighs> Do you think we can pull off a win? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I feel like I, I've been overly invincible for the most part, <laughs> despite the idea of me sucking-ish, being blind and whatnot. Oh. Well, that's uh. Great drive! Very good drive. Let's take it nice and easy. Oh, man. Well, at least our, our, our teams are about in the same positions, happy with that. <laughs> same dialogue as other characters. Eh, eh, eh. Well, it looks like my shot is up next, so I'm pretty sure I can pull off something a little bit better than what's going on over there. Yeah, something like that should have a nice rollout to the hole, I think. Boink! Go ball, roll to the hole! Yeah, I'll accept that. Um, I wonder if this, it's gonna be like alternate play, finally, instead of me just getting all the shots after a certain, like, like the drive, like that one time. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps, perhaps not, I'm not sure. For all I know, these battles are all scripted. <laughs> nope, it looks like I am indeed playing just like all the shots after the drive once again, which is okay, I guess. <laughs> it's just, well, I guess there's no alternate play in this game, it seems like, except for the opponents. Uh, they're probably gonna put me in a bad position once again, as per the nature. Well, well. Oh, and I just noticed something. 
I just, I mean, I just realized something. I wasn't using the, uh, uh, antique clubs for this match. I guess that's only for the tournament. So, wait, that actually means if I'm playing out of the water... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I don't have my rudder. <laughs> well, I can at least kick it over to the edge of the fairway with the six iron, I guess. I mean, that's pretty much as good as the rudder would have done anyway, so... Eh, eh. Just play it out as is. Yeah, you're gonna play it as safe as you can, I'm sure, or, well, it's not that, uh, I mean, well, <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not that safe, but there's not all that much rolling area. Mm, give myself a little bit of spin. Maybe I'll even curve it around so I get, it like, a extra angle so I can use as much of the green as possible. Go! Oh, actually looks pretty good, I would say, based on where I hit it on the marks. Yeah, I'll take it. What about you? Can you make it? Oh, no, you cannot. I was gonna say, could you make it at least to the next fairway? But no, no, he hit before I even finished. All right, you can do it. You can get on the fairway, not not the green, because this is not properly maintained. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you can do that, that was, that's fine. Well, uh, you did, I mean, I did hear from others that uh, six is a good hole on this place, but uh, as I said before, I disagree. <laughs> you got a six, I got a four. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one actually might pose a little issue for, well, actually, maybe not, because if they're gonna. Even if they put me in bad position, they aren't hitting very far or anything like that. So I was going to say, maybe if it's a uh, par 5, I'll have an easier chance at making par birdie on it after... Yeah, but uh, mm, I, I still I still think I've got the advantage when the strokes end up getting flip-flopped over to me. Oh, I should have... I forgot that there is this kind of water in the course. I should have had the uh, um, skimming woods... Too late now! No rudder, no skimming woods. We are going to do our best regardless of what equipment we have. <laughs> Definitely, probably don't have the best equipment, I should say, but... Well, well, we'll see how things go. That was a good out, I would say. You're ki Oh, I was gonna say, you're, you got a, kind of a tree in your way, but I don't know if I... I don't know if I'd hit that way. I think I'd rather hit through the branches and aim to the fairway. Oh, no. This is a disaster. Oh, oh, well. Oh, uh, uh. okay, that's better. That's quite a bit better. But I think I'm going to be on the green on the next shot. I mean, the rough. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and let her do a run out off the fairway, I think. That seems like a safe way to play it, I think. Boink! Look at this, look at that! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that wind, that wind wasn't uh, really messing up my angle or anything like that, so I just took dead aim at it, and sure enough, there she goes. But I, I don't know if they're gonna have any sorts of shots like this during the round. Like, I think. This is more like a joke match, more than anything, if you, <laughs> if you ask me. I mean, maybe they're among the most skilled players in the club, but, uh... At this point in the game, I don't know if this is like mid or late game, I don't think anyone is gonna have any trouble beating this match. <laughs> just, just saying. Alright. Alright, too much with it. Probably stub my ball on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That should be fine like that. Get a little backspin. The wind will push you a little bit back into alignment. And. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Eh, well, it's not in. That, that's disappointing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna chip it in. I sure hope you chip it in because I'm gonna get another point if you don't. Yeah! Nice shot. Alright, I will putt, of course. Woo! Well, I guess I still got a point, but I mean, 
Uh, there's still a chance that I could have missed that because, you know, I'm putting in the rough greens and there's, there's those times that I overhit and it bounces off of the pin and away from the hole, but okay. Deep rough time around the green. Could you imagine if there's deep rough around, like, just as the putting surface? Like, some one foot rough just laying on top of each other layers and layers of grass and you're putting through that or chipping through that. If you were to do that, like even if you were chipping, that would be quite a painful ordeal because of the, uh, y you can't be using too much speed, otherwise a ball to fly too far, but at the same time you need the speed to get through the grass. It's a conundrum, but luckily in this game you can putt it and I overhit that just a bit. But, well, maybe not. Actually, it turned out fine as is. I guess I overestimated the, uh... Yeah. I, 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 I guess that was safe, but that's not gonna give you give you much advantage, but... <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I overestimated the, uh, rollout there. <clears throat> and that I was expecting less rollout, excuse me. Anyway! anyway. No, wait, no, I mean more ro Yeah, more rollout. I I don't know what I was even saying there. Anyway, I'm gonna win this next shot anyway, so I guess it doesn't much matter. <laughs> yeah, a lot of deep rough. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of putting on these greens. Voila! Voila! Success! I don't know how happy they're gonna be about that, because they, they thought they had a foolproof plan. But I completely swept them. <laughs> um, mm, guess I can just start going for the drive again. Keep my spin for maximum stopping power. Okay. Just trying to keep the stuff balanced. It was a good match. Yes, it was. Sarcasm. We earned that victory. Could have gone either way. <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll say that. Yes, so that, that was a side quest, not a main quest, right? So where do I continue on from my main quest? Do I just go straight on over to the pro course or something? I suppose that is possible. But... Can I, oh, I can't go into the sauna now. Alas, it is locked for all of eternity, probably. Still think that bearded man is a werewolf. <laughs> Mm, things aren't so hectic at lunch. I can literally uh, not even really new new dialogue per se. Could not have been more wrong. I had it as the BFC. Same thing. <laughs> Killing people with the three high <laughs> pink haired girl. She looks quite dangerous. I agree. <laughs> Can't even get back into that room. You know, the storage room. Nope. Nope. So I guess I just flop on over to the next course over then, because I don't see any rainbow hole, there doesn't seem to be any dot dot dots around anybody's head. The guards, they, they're they still saying members only, but we're members now, so we're good. <laughs> so yeah, let's take a look-see around the overworld. Can I, like, can I now just... Wait, what? Did I, did I ever check behind you before? I don't know if I did, but... Huh? Dig. Did I check you before? I I don't know if I did. Well, we're about to find out what we'll get. We get... The... What? That's where it was? Okay, so not going over to the pros course. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't... How is that? I don't understand that. Can I see you? No. Oh, I guess I lost the catchers. Because it, it was something like that. It was a place that was not... Like, a place that was open before, but I... I don't know, I thought it was through this before, and although maybe I just didn't have the digging spot, and... Because maybe when you talk to them, it unlocks said digging spot, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it looks like I accidentally stumbled across the solution again on something. <laughs> At least I'm making consistent progress. Alright, in a place where great distances can be covered in a in few steps, in a clearing once empty is where I am kept. See, like, what do you mean once empty? Like, a clearing is empty, isn't it? <laughs> that that's what's kind of confusing me about that. But I got the 
I got the treasure, but wait, what do I do with the... If, if I don't take that to you, where do I take that then? <laughs> Catcher's treasure, legendary treasure. So that yeah, it's gotta be for some other, other quest then, if it's not for him. And if I... Or is that just to... Like, find the place to put that Catcher's treasure and get something else out of it. So I guess I do have to go to Blue Moon Dunes, which is, I think, the pro course place thing, but... Yeah, I don't understand... I mean, I, I, I at least found it, but I... I, <laughs> I, I don't understand what that guy means with the catcher's treasure. Maybe I'll find some sort of special slot for it in the future or something like that eventually, or maybe I'll press A button on everything. Let's just see here. Great distance can, can be covered in few steps. In a cl clearing once empty is where I'm... Actually, come, that first part actually does make sense. Great distances can be covered in a few steps. That would indicate the overworld, because the overworld, you know, it's like a condensed version of all the other worlds combined. It's like, you don't see the golf courses out on the overworld, you just see, like, the shacks that you enter and whatnot. But now what? In the clearing, once empty is where I am kept. But... But if you don't have dot dot dots above your head anymore, and if if the, if you actually if that actually meant the thing because you don't have the dot dot dots above your head anymore, and that I already got the thing, then there's the question of what do I use that thing for? Ah, I don't know. I think he, I mean it's it did sound like he was talking about the overworld ish, but could be wrong. Ah. I'm just gonna kind of wander about here really quick, just to see. Hmm. 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 I don't know why I pressed A there, because I know I'm gonna go into the yeah, into the disc jockey's domain. Hmm. Well, I'm. Wh hold on, hold on. Was I down here before? I think I was down here before. Yeah, because I think I, I was mashing the stuff like the candy cane and the snowman. By the way, I can't melt this snowman. Alas, alas, because I can't hit balls in the overworld. I can't even hit balls on the teeing areas here. It's interesting. Okay, I, I'm I'm stumped. <laughs> I, got a, I got two side quests done, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I just... I, maybe... I, I definitely got one via that Tidy Park match, but is the Catcher's Treasure the end of the whole Catcher's thing? Or do I have to go back and talk to one of the other Catchers, like the, the leader of all the Catchers or something like that? I don't know. Well, that's... I'm gonna end off the part here and think about it, I guess. <laughs> Maybe between recording sessions. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I... Maybe figure out what the poopy means. Or maybe I'm gonna get some other hint later on, I don't know.